Hello everyone, this is Sammy Hedgesad from Krusty Critics, and today I have with me the Samsung Galaxy S Infuse 4G from Rogers. And this is a new phone from Rogers, it's particularly an upgrade to the old Captivate, and uh, this is an upgrade in several ways. You'll first notice the large screen size. This is four and a half inches of screen. And um, very vibrant colors on this screen. That's because it's a Super AMOLED Plus screen. And you'll see that blacks are particularly very dark. And uh, the rest of the colors look beautiful too. Another reason this is a huge upgrade over the old Captivate is that this phone launches with Android 2.3 Gingerbread unlike the American counterpart from AT&T. Another way that this phone is an upgrade is that uh, you'll notice that it's a much more snappier. Look how it goes from screen, from home screen to home screen. I'll try to get my hand out of the way this time. It's very fast. And lastly, this is a 4G uh, HSPA phone. You can see up here, there's a little 4G icon, which indicates that we're on a 4G network. Now, of course, I did some speed tests, and I'm not going to take you through a speed test because, well, that's a little boring. I, th I suspect you might have uh, some better things to do than watch me run a benchmark. But I will show you some of the, the download speeds that I've gotten. The latest one today, uh, just about half an hour ago, I got 6.28 megabytes. The one before that, uh, five mega, uh, five, almost 6 megabytes down. And uh, earlier, I got 8 and uh, almost 7. And not only are those fast download speeds, we also have some pretty fast upload speeds, almost 3 in uh, sometimes I've tested. Why don't we take a look at the internet browser, which I find significantly faster um, than uh, what you might find on an Android 2.2 device, like the Captivate. So we'll just load up our website. And there it goes. Now our site is very content heavy, lots of images, and um, it's not mobile uh, optimized at all, so it was a pretty big risk for me to, to, to show this. And uh, zooming in is nice and easy. All right, and uh, you know what, why, why don't I quickly show you uh, some of the hardware on the phone. You'll see that it's actually quite slim, and lots of nice hard uh, metal you know, this is made very, very high quality device here. Uh, this is a 8 megapixel camera here on the back, and over on the front you'll notice that it's got a, a little camera over here. That's a 1.3 megapixel camera. In fact, let me compare it to uh, a Nexus S that I use. Look at the size difference of these two phones. Okay, let me just turn that one on for you. Okay, you can clearly see that this one, this four and a half inch screen is, is quite big in comparison to the old Nexus. And not only that, but look at, the, look at the thickness of these two phones. Now, of course, the ne it's difficult because the Nexus has uh, a curved screen. We can't exactly put them side to side. But it feels like the Infuse is very thin, very big, and, uh, and is, 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 you know, that's a, that's a great significant uh, upgrade over the old Captivate and some of our old phones that we had. I'd also like to point out that the, the, this phone that I have here has uh, much less uh, preloaded apps. Now, uh, it did come with some Roger stuff like my account and uh, your music, but I have to say that there isn't any, um, any other you know, preloaded software that you might find on other phones uh, in the market. And I think that's pretty cool. Allow me to put the, the apps on the phone, guys. Or you, of course, the consumer. Anyways, I think that's about it I can say about the uh, Galaxy S Infuse 4G from Rogers. Uh, once again, this is Sammy Hadjathad from Krusty Critics, and thanks for watching, guys.